In this Ultimate Sound Bank how-to, we're going to review the sound design section of PlugSound Pro. Located in the Basic and Advanced tabs of the Sound Design section are Amplitude, Filter, LFO, Pitch Envelope, and Modulation parameters that let you manipulate the sound of individual parts and presets loaded into PlugSound Pro. One key point of the new UVI engine is its audio processing capabilities. From the Effects tab, you can insert up to four real-time effects on each of PlugSound Pro's 64 parts. To demonstrate the processing capabilities of the sound design section, we'll be working in Digital Performer. We have several presets, different parts and loops exclusively from the PlugSound Pro sound library, loaded into a PlugSound Pro instrument with a MIDI track assigned to each preset. Now, this is a good time to mention PlugSound Pro's MIDI Learn feature. MIDI Learn lets you send MIDI continuous controller data to any PlugSound Pro knob or slider. This functionality allows you to control parameters remotely from your MIDI controller or automate them with MIDI track automation data. To assign a MIDI controller to a PlugSound Pro knob or slider, simply control click or right click the desired knob. And then move the controller you wish to use. PlugSound Pro will automatically accept the assignment and close the MIDI Learn window. Now let's start with the basics by using preset A1, our xylophone preset, to show you the basic tab's amplitude envelope parameters. The amplitude envelope lets you control the attack, decay, sustain, and release characteristics of the instrument, loop, or phrase loaded into the currently selected part. Let's take a listen to the xylophone with its amplitude envelope parameters set to their default values. Now we can use the attack parameter to affect the start of the sound. Or the release parameter to change the end of the sound. PlugSound Pro provides a separate envelope for filter modulation. Think of the filter envelope as a hardwired control signal for the filter cutoff frequency that provides controls for attack, decay, sustain level, and release time. We'll use preset A2 to demonstrate the filter and filter envelope. You can choose from several filter types for shaping the sound of the instrument. For this example, we'll choose the LP3 filter, which is a minus 18 dB low pass filter. The drive amount sets the distortion rate applied to the filter output. Next are the cutoff and resonance parameters. Now we want to control them with our MIDI controller, so we'll right click and assign one of our MIDI controller's virtual pots by moving it. With that assigned, we can now affect the parameters from our MIDI controller. Turn the cutoff knob to modify the cutoff frequency of the filter. The resonance parameter emphasizes the cutoff frequency. The envelope depth knob is like a valve that governs the amount of envelope control signal you want to apply to the filter. Positive envelope depth values open up the filter relative to the cutoff frequency, while negative values close or invert it. Now let's move on to the advanced effects tab which contains sections for low-frequency oscillators called LFO, pitch envelope, and modulations. The four tabs, labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4, give you access to one of four available LFOs for editing parameters. Choose the waveform type for the LFO here. The sync button lets you synchronize the beginning of the waveform to the triggering of the sound. Remember that it will go freewheeling if not checked. The rate parameter controls the speed of the LFO oscillation, while depth controls how much the LFO affects the instrument's sound. Let's play with the amp modulations controls to create a tremolo effect. The Effects tab 
provides access to a part or preset's real-time effects processing. You have four effects inserts per preset or part, plus two auxiliary effects you can apply. Each part has its own AUX1 and AUX2 slider settings, which let you apply different amounts of auxiliary effects to each part simply by turning up the corresponding AUX slider in the parts section. PlugSound Pro is also equipped with Convolution Reverb, which is basically a sampled reverb. Convolution is a process where the characteristics of a real acoustic space, such as a church, concert hall, theater, or outdoor space, are directly sampled. In addition to auxiliary convolution reverb, the Effects tab provides a diverse set of time-based and dynamic-based high-quality effects that can be accessed via four insert effects. Here we have a gate reverb, phaser, talkbox, and robotizer effect inserted on the preset. In this Ultimate Sound Bank how-to, we reviewed the sound design section of PlugSound Pro, demonstrated PlugSound Pro's basic and advanced sound design capabilities from amplitude and filter envelopes to LFO, pitch envelope, and modulation controls. And we used the effects section to apply convolution reverb and other real-time effects to a sliced PlugSound Pro loop. As you can see, the editing capabilities of the sound design section of PlugSound Pro opens up a whole new world for your instrument sounds.